Hi everyone, it's Albert here, and welcome to the start of a new series, the Software Engineer Interview Questions. So if you are following uh, my channel, you can see that I'm actively practicing Lead code and also create videos uh, on solutions of Lead code weekly contest questions. But in reality, in interviews, you will get asked uh, more types of uh, questions, for example, behavioral, hypothetical, uh, programming languages specific questions, or even system design. So in this uh, series of videos, I would like to share some of the most common uh, questions I got asked interviewing with different companies if I didn't sign NDA for the interview, and also share some of the uh, tips and strategy I have so to also help you to prepare and ace your next interview. So let's get started. And a brief intro about myself. I'm a financial engineer uh, with five years experience in a financial industry. And currently I'm trans transitioning uh, my career into software engineering and specialize in full stack uh, web development. And my tech stack uh, programming languages uh, I'm good at Python and JavaScript and a little bit of Swift and front-end framework. I'm, I'm pretty good at React and Vue.js. Backend is uh, Node.js and Django. And currently I'm working on uh, personal projects and also freelancing project, but I'm also open to uh, new full-time opportunities. So if your team or your company is also hiring uh, full stack or backend front-end web developers, feel free to uh, reach out to me anytime. And the background of the company I interview with uh, this time is a uh, mobile app development agencies. They develop uh, different kinds of apps in iOS and Android for the clients. And this is the first uh, round of screening with the uh, director of engineering. And the role is a full stack uh, software engineer. And to be honest, their tech stack uh, they use is kind of different than mine. For backend, they use uh, Ruby on Rails, and frontend is uh, either iOS or Android, so it's uh, Swift or Java. But I still got a chance to uh, talk to the director, so I just uh, give it a shot. And the first question I got asked, uh, not very surprising, is uh, tell me about yourself. And this is the kind of question that you should be able to answer if uh, someone wake you up at three o'clock in the morning. And some of the tips and rule of thumb of mine is that first, keep it short and concise. I will always try to answer this question uh, with one to two minutes. And this is a kind of uh, mistake I have made when I just get out of school. I usually like to answer it uh, with three or even four minutes. But if you go too long into it, while the interviewer is going to get bored, and if you go too short, then they don't get enough chance to get to know you. So the key here is for you to tell your hero's journey, how you went from very little skill to somebody that they want to hire. And make sure that the skills, the project you mentioned is also relevant to the role. And finally, it's also important to show your passion, show your energy, and why you want to work as a software engineer for the company. And when I'm talking about myself, I always try to mention uh, some of the web applications and website I have built uh, from end to end, because it will be a very natural follow-up for the interviewer to uh, ask and dive deeper into the details of the projects. So that would become a great chance for me to demonstrate my project experiences and the success I've made. So the projects I, I put on my resumes are two uh, full stack web development projects. I, and I will focus on the goal of the projects, the technology I use on front end and back end, the database, and also the challenges I have faced and the learning from these projects. And the next question is also a follow-up question. How do you scale an app? This question uh, I asked myself and I think I didn't really answer it very well. 
because if uh, if, if you think it through, this is actually a system design question. When you are building a small app, you probably just need uh, one server and one database as backend. But when your user grows, how are you gonna handle more and more requests? And obviously, one server is not is not enough. So now we ha we have to think about distributed system and microservices and the database design and so much more. These topics can get very deep into it, into the system design uh, spectrum. And the answer I gave uh, during the interview is for the other project, I tried to use the serverless architecture, which is uh, Google Firebase, so that they can handle the scalability of the app uh, pretty, pretty easily. I believe this is not a wrong answer, but this is not the interviewer want to hear. Because as software engineer, we always have to think about how to scale up the system, the performance of the app, and the security of the of the system. So it also reminds me that I have to go back and pick up uh, the system design fundamentals. Okay, and some reviews I have for myself and for everyone is first, always have your story prepared. Just keep it short and to the point, but make sure that your hero story helps you to stand out from the crowd. And when you are working on your projects and talking about your project, always uh, think about how to further improve it, how to make it better. And for system uh, design questions, always think of the scalability and security and performance, because these are the key skills in every company and industry when you want to become a software engineer. Okay, and that will be all for today. Uh, thanks for watching. I hope this video gives you some insights and tips to help you prepare for your next technical and non-technical interviews. And I will continue uh, making more of these videos for this series. So if you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one.